What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? This is the student master teacher, Mr. I Stay Woke, Chris Monroe, and I'm right back at you with another real estate video. I want to give a quick shout out to Alicia. She put up something uh, asking about or talking about the multiple offer strategy, some kind of way I found my way into it. And now people in my inbox talking about, hey, how do you do this? How do you do this? And I'm like, I can't answer everybody. So I decided to make this quick video to let you know how I do it. It's not the only way to do it, but it is a way to do it. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up and share it to somebody who may want to know how to do this. This is an advanced strategy now. I will put that disclaimer in. It's not for everyone, but if you're the chosen one, you can use this. So I'm going to um, take a look here. So this, I'm going to actually upload this uh, actual document into the Woke Real Estate Investors Group. So you can just download it, edit it, do whatever you want to do to it to make it make sense for you because you're going to have to change a few things in here. But this is basically a template to get you started. So real simple, as you see here, hello, Mrs. Seller, Mr. Seller, whatever their name is, your opening greeting. We let them know we have a couple of options for them. Uh, if you have your option one, this is everybody's favorite that wholesale deal or if you're a cash buyer you can be the one making this cash offer low low price we'll say this house is worth a hundred thousand for the uh, example here so you're going to give them you know 40 to 50 cent on the dollar on the uh you know your cash offer here so you let them know if you need to change that you just make it whatever number you want to make it you're going to buy it as is condition and then uh, what i would do right here is add another sentence to kind of justify something basic foundation repairs are some of the most expensive regarding your conversation whatever they told you or whatever you found in their house that's going to cost a lot of money the scary stuff the woo you say yeah you put a little sentence in there and bring that up to make it kind of more personal so they don't know it's like a template it kind of makes it more reasonable option two terms deal my favorite should be your favorite if you're doing any kind of deep study you'll like this so uh, basically it's a terms deal you're going to offer probably close to what they're asking or close to you know what they want for the property most of the time and you let them know here you're going to make a monthly payment until paid off we pay the taxes insurance and all the other stuff it says here now this first part is only if this is a free and clear property now your words will change a little bit if you have a property that has a mortgage on it or some type of loan you wouldn't use the same words here talking about a passive income because you want to say that basically we're going to cover your monthly payment until sometime in the future when we get it cashed out now, this stuff isn't to try to sell them on it. This is just offers to pique their interest because we're just offering it. And they're going to see the big difference between this 50000 number. Like, oh, man, that's so low. That ain't motivating. Cause that's a low ball offer. You don't want to beat them up on price, but it is an offer. They can always take that, and you're going to do that as a regular wholesale or cash offer deal. And option two, you would do that as a term deal, which you can offer them a little bit more, probably what they're asking, something close to it. You can shave a little bit off. You know how I do. I love to negotiate, be a master negotiator. So I try to get that price a little closer to what they want or just a little bit shy of it so they can feel like they got a good deal. So uh, like I said here, it's going to either be this first part. If it's no, um, no mortgage, if there is a mortgage, you want to change it a little bit this last sentence to make it say, we'll cover your monthly payments. In either scenario above, you will sell your home and never worry about it. Just some stuff to make them feel good. We close all real estate transactions through a local title company slash real estate attorney. Everything will be disclosed in writing and we do everything in our power to make it a smooth transition for everyone involved, especially if you got a husband and wife or some family members or somebody that's not happy or whatever. You know, you can't make everybody happy, but we try. That's what we do. So the other benefit of selling your house to us is that we typically pay all of the closing costs. The price we agree to is the price you get. So that's their takeaway price, whether it's terms or whether it's cash. Same thing. So option three, a little lesser option, but it is an option. You're going to tell them we're going to lease with an option to buy. We're going to lease your home with an option to buy at a predetermined price. The benefit of this, that you will begin receiving a monthly cash flow without needing to manage, maintain, or any of that other stuff that's said right here, or repair anything in the future as well, as we will be 100% responsible for the maintenance or repairs. Now you can change that as well. You can just say responsible for the maintenance and repairs if you want to do something a little different. You can tweak this stuff, like I said. This is just a template, a template to make it get you started if you're going to make this multiple offer strategy. But you're going to have to know your numbers as far as this cash offer up here or this terms offer here. You're going to have to know your numbers on that stuff. And you can work out the details when you get back on the phone with them. As far as option four, which is an option that, you know, some people may like. 
we can have a licensed real estate agent list your house on the multiple listing service, the MLS, for a flat fee so that you may calculate your selling expenses. For this option, you want to have a real estate agent on your team or somebody you can refer leads over to that you already agreed to the year. They had list your property for 500 bucks or a thousand bucks or whatever their flat rate is. Put a real estate agent on your team. It could be you if you're licensed or a broker. It can be anybody, but it appears to be an option. So it gives them four options here to make them feel like they have a choice, but some people don't realize they don't have to choose none of them, but they can choose one on here, or they can say, you know what? I'm not gonna do any of them. I don't like none of these options. So hopefully this helps you out. You're gonna have a, a little ending here. If, this, uh, if you have any questions, let me know. We can discuss further which option works best for you. I love to end everything in a question because I want to keep the dialogue going so they can say, tell me more about option two or tell me more about how option one works. Or, what do you mean you can lease option? I want to keep the dialogue open. Get them back on the phone. Once they say they're interested in any one of these options, that's the time you go in for the kill, for the strangle. You put your hands around that neck and squeeze. You call them back. You get on that phone. That's time for you to put your negotiation hat on at that point. And uh, there you go. You ask them which option works best. Put your signature block, your phone numbers, the contact you back, website, all that good stuff. Make them feel good to do their research on you if they haven't done it already to let them know that you're legit. So this stuff only works if you're legit. You can't quit if you're legit. Too legit, too quick. Hey, hey. So there you go. So hope this video helped you out. Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up, like I said, and share it to somebody who might want to know it. And if you haven't joined the Woke Real Estate Investors Group, what are you waiting on? You should have been in the group. We're talking about all this woke stuff every day, seven days a week, even when you sleep. And uh, also visit wokerealestate.com for all of your forms, documents, scripts, learn how to talk to sellers, buyers, whatever you need to know how to do. It's all at wokerealestate.com. That's the website. So that's all I got to say for you. Do what you do, be who you be, and I'll see you, not you, but you, you right there before you see me. Peace out.